I'm presenting This Code Works, quite simply the Pinterest of code. And this is something I built when I was learning how to code myself a few years ago. So basically it's a place to save all the code snippets that work and to organize them by collections and categories. And while I was building it, I thought it'd be pretty cool if other people would also start using it. So you get this one database of working code snippets. And so other people have started using it. And what's pretty cool is that um, it's all code that's also organized. You get to discover new code that you wouldn't know um, about before. And so what I've done is to help you save code is I built this Chrome extensions. Anytime you see a snippet of code online, you can either right click and press save code snippet, or you can just click the save button. And what it does it, um, as a form, a pre-film form pops up with the code snippet, but also other useful info like what the snippet does, the language and the URL, and it's just saved. So just, and you can even remove this part if you want to just make a one click save. And um, in addition to that, thinking of co code snippets, kind of like coupon codes that some work, some don't work. So if you ever come across a snippet that's worked for somebody, it's highlighted in blue. And up here you see the numbers work for two people. And there's other cool stuff like save the web page and a sidebar and all user requested, honestly. And so that was um, basically the app. And so I talk to users a lot and ask them, okay, what do, what, what do you love most about it? And they love how quick and instant it is. And this is versus other stuff like GitHub gists and CodePen where, where you have to like manually enter it in a form and it's just a code snippet and there's also extra stuff with it and people love that. And so, uh, you know, following what they say and what they want, they also want a VS Code extension to integrate with your code editor so you can right click and save code snippet over here. Um, they also wanted to embed it with their blog so you can embed your snippets with the same link on Medium and WordPress. And so th this is what basically I've been working on. And um, so my end goal is that this code snippets, be, uh, this code works is synonymous with the term code snippets. So in addition to winning Pioneer, I'm also currently doing the on-deck fellowship and I recently won a grant for Emergent Ventures. That was thiscodeworks.com and you can email me if you wanna talk more. <laughs> no, I, I, I think it's amazing. I was gonna ask you how you arrived at this because it feels like a problem I've had multiple times. Um, and most times when I'm trying to remember a code sip snippet, I have to figure out how I got there in the first place. So I have to try to search, oh, what did I search? How did I get there? How did I find it? You know, so this is yeah. really amazing. How, how did you come across, like, how, how did you come about this idea? Well, I mean, I was uh, saving a lot of code snippets and I'm kind of a compulsive writer. So I was writing a lot of them in my notebooks and stuff and, and note apps and it was all spread all over. And so when I was learning to code, you know, the number one thing is like, build a project and that's the best way to learn. So my first project was like to save all that snippets. And so yeah, I kind of grew from there. Yeah. Should we, um, how, Shola, how should we be thinking about this kind of becoming uh, a real business? Um, if, you were, <laughs> if you were the CEO of, uh, of, of, uh, of this company, what would you do? Yeah, I, I think I will try to find out like the early users that are really excited about it. Um, like the very early cohort of users that like it. Um, and I don't know what that would look like for her. Um, and the, the people she's spoken with. So it might be students, it might be people that are learning, it might be maybe Lambda school grad students. You know, like, I, I don't know what that cohort looks like, um, but I will be trying to figure out like what cohort, what set of people will like be super, super excited about this and will tell their friends about it because I think the amazing thing about this is that I want to learn it from my friend. Like I want someone to say, oh, have you heard of, this code works. I'm like, what is it? It's like, you know, so I think just finding that cohort of users that will be super excited about it will be what I will start with. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that is kind of what I am focusing on. Um, a lot of my users are people who are learning how to code and not just like in computer science degrees or on their own. They even like people who are like full, like, you know, experienced engineers and they're like learning a new language, a new framework, and they're getting back at square one. So definitely a large majority of them are learning how to code. That's why they improve on saving code. But I think as you go further ahead, it'll be more about sharing code than like engineering teams of maybe startup founders like myself. So yeah. Yeah, no, that, that, that's amazing. And, and right now, what, what is like your number one like worry? Like what, what, what stresses you out about this? Like what is, <laughs> what is the problem? Oh, so many things. Today, honestly, the extension stopped working. So that was stressing me out. <laughs> I had, like, <laughs> We work like today when I have to present it to the world, it stops working. <laughs> so every day there is something, but um, I think what stresses me out, um, nothing really. I mean, they're all challenges, but they're all like puzzles that you have to solve, and it's always interesting, and it's 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 never boring, honestly. So I guess maybe if I have to say like growth and maybe figuring out product market fit, yeah, I think that's like yeah, like any any small company. <laughs> yeah, no, this is really really amazing. Shola, where are you? I'm in Lagos. <laughs> Lagos. And Mishkar, you're in Pakistan? 
Yeah, I'm <laughs> um, Peshawar, Pakistan specifically. It's two hours north of the capital and close to the Afghanistan border. Yeah, because people haven't heard of Peshawar, so I just want to explain that. <laughs> I mean, most Americans haven't heard of any country other than theirs, but um, um, I, this is absolutely stellar um, in, in, in my world. And really the person we, I guess we should be thinking is Eric Yuan from Zoom, that, that all of this is possible. Um, I, Mishka, I very much hope, much like um, Shola built the, uh, uh, has become the, the titan of Lagos. Uh, you can become uh, the, the, the titan, I mean, not just of your city, maybe your country too. Awesome work. Thank you so much.